Okay, so I'm gonna take you through my nail routine. Never in a million years did I think that people are gonna be asking me how I took care of my nails, because I've always had really thin, brittle, peeling, shitty nails. But I've taken a bunch of steps <laughs> to get them to this point, and uh, apparently you guys are fans. So I'm gonna insert a demo, I'm gonna be talking through it, so you're not just like listening to me talk about it, I'm actually gonna be showing you what I do. So just, these are my nails. Ooh. So during the corn, so I've always had claws, you know, I had my uh, acrylics. And then when uh, the pandemic hit and we were under quarantine for, f I don't know, 45 years, um, I was forced to take them off. And I was like, well, it's a good time to try and grow out my naturals, I guess. It's been a lot of work. Basically, I have to just like keep them up as best as possible. So the first thing that I do obviously is um, remove any nail polish that I have on, which is typically just a nail strengthener. Um, and I have this natural, it's supposed to be a natural uh, nail polish remover. I got it on Amazon. I don't think it was too much. It might've been like 14 bucks. I'll try to link it down below, but it seems to be good. It's like acetone free. So I'm trying to avoid that kind of stuff so that I'm like, you know, using good, like hydrating things on my nails. I don't know. I'm not an expert. Uh, but anyway, so that's what I use. And I just use like paper towels uh, to remove all of the product. And then I think the biggest thing for me uh, and what really stands out to you guys, because like my nails are not, they're not really anything special. I mean, you can see like I have some like little, you know, spots from just like, I don't know, I was gonna call them abrasions, but just like damage from like hitting them and stuff. They're not like, they're not perfect looking. You know, they've got like little spots on them. They're not, you know, the best nails in the entire world or the most attractive nails in the entire world. But I think what really attracts people to them is the fact that I, I'm obsessed with cleanliness. I like my cuticles to be clean. So basically what I do is uh, start off with a nail soak. So I've been using the Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt. Uh, this is the Glow and Radiance one. I don't know, it's supposed to be like for uh, muscle relaxation basically, but honestly, I just don't know what else to use. So if you have any like DIY hydrating nail soak recipes, I've looked them up before and I, I always just feel like they're gonna be more drying than anything else. Uh, but I just basically want to soften the nails a little bit and the cuticles. So that's what I'll do. I'll just like add a little bit of water, mix it up. Uh, sometimes I put it in the microwave for like 10, 15 seconds, um, or I'll just use warm water from like the sink or whatever. Um, and I'll just soak my nails for a little while. I don't have like a specific time just until I think it's good. Uh, and then I use this instant, it's called the instant cuticle remover from Sally Hansen. So I just kind of like squirt this all over my cuticles and I believe it says to let it sit for 15 seconds and then you can go in and either push back your cuticle, your cuticles, which is what I do, or uh, trim them, uh, which is what we're going to get to. So obviously I use an orange stick to do this and then I will rinse it off in the water, wipe it off and then using just like a nail clipper, like I realize this is crazy. I know so many people are probably gonna yell at me, but I just trim the cuticle with that because personally I think it gives me like a little bit more precision. I try not to get like too close, you know, like take off too much. But yeah, so this works really well for me. They're like cuticle trimmers and they're so sharp and like a lot easier if you're doing someone else's nails, but to use on yourself, it just, I just feel like I end up with all these tiny little cuts and uh, I end up like cutting myself way more. So this just works for me. Okay, so then filing. <laughs> so I got this file from Ulta Beauty. This is by Flowery, I guess. And it has, uh, it has like higher grit numbers. I think that, I think higher, I think the higher, the like more fine it is. Basically like for, for natural nails, you wanna use like a nice fine file because it does less damage. It does less like tearing or breaking of the nail. Um, I do avoid cutting them, but if I am going to cut my nails, then I soak them without any like nail polish on them. Uh, I soak them for a while just to soften them up, which is going to help prevent breaking. Um, so I use the finest side of the file. And then basically what I do is I, uh, I don't know if you've heard about this, but like one going in one direction, like not filing back and forth, because if you file back, back and forth, it creates more damage in the nail. So filing in one direction, starting with the sides and then kind of just like meeting in the center. Um, and I like to kind of narrow them out toward the tip, but not too much because I want them to be 
nice and strong and nice and supported. And if you make them too thin, then um, they just have a, an easier time breaking, I guess. All right, now I like to buff, which is also <laughs> something that I think that you guys are really attracted to. Uh, I like to remove like the ridges in my nails. That does just happen naturally. Like your nails are not like perfectly smooth on their own, obviously. So I like to use like a nice kind of fine nail buffer. This one I got from, it was in a kit from this nail, this natural nail brand called 10 over 10. They have multiple like salons, um, like Chicago, LA, New York, I believe. I've only been there a couple times, but that's their whole thing is like going more towards like less chemicals and more like natural nail products. So anyway, I got this on their website and it's just a nail buffer that has like a green, more like slightly gritty side and then like a um, buffing shine side, the white one. So I'll go in and just kind of like buff the nail really lightly. The reason I use something that's like a very low grit is because I don't, I'm not, my nails are already thin. Like I'm not trying to remove strength, you know what I mean? So I'm basically just trying to like file out any imperfections. So I just go ahead and do that all around. I also like to file the edges again. And then I will go in with the white side and use that as a, like a shine buffer, I guess. It kind of helps to like seal any edges in my mind. Um, so you just kind of like go back and forth and it makes your nail look like shiny, but it helps like seal any, um, it like closes the cuticle. I don't know what to, I don't know how else to describe that. Anyway, so I do that. Now the secret <laughs> and the nail polish that you guys are always asking me about, which is so funny because literally all it is is a nail strengthener, a clear nail strengthener. Um, but whenever I film, you guys are like, what nail polish are you wearing? So what I use is the, I think it's sensitive and peeling, but it's OPI Nail Envy. So this is the best strengthener I've ever used for sure. They have a bunch of them. They have the original Nail Envy, Envy which looks kind of cloudy. And then they have, um, I wanna say dry and brittle and then sensitive and peeling, and maybe they have one more but I've been using Sensitive and Peeling, which is a lot thicker formula, a lot stronger. I love it. It dries super quick. All you really need is one coat if you're keeping up with it. Uh, the only downside is that over time it does start to thicken a little bit. And if you apply like, if you're going in and if you've had it for a while and then you go and apply like kind of a thick amount, you can get bubbles, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but other than that, I love it so much. It's so fantastic. And it, ha it gives my nails kind of like this, um, very clean, like almost cool toned hue, which makes them just look nice. And I think that's why you guys are always asking about them. I don't know, it's not cheap. I think it's like 15 to $17, but it's so worth it in my opinion. It has really helped my nails stay strong. So the trick when applying it is to seal the edges of the nail. So that's what I do is I start off by applying it on the sides of the nail because that's obviously the area that you need to protect the most because that's where the breakage and splitting happen. So I start off by doing that and then I will paint the top of the nail like usual. That is probably the my best piece of advice for you. If you don't do any of these other steps and you only use the nail strengthener, make sure you're sealing the sides of your nails. So I apply this product probably every couple of days. I will typically go in with one coat and let that dry. Uh, because it is very strong and it dries quickly. With washing my hands and washing dishes, you know, obviously it comes off pretty quickly. So if I don't keep up with it, then my nails do, you know, like they're obviously more prone to breaking or drying out or whatever. Uh, so I do try to like remove and reapply every couple of days. This process that I'm showing you right now with like the cuticle and all of that, I probably do it like at most once a week, at most. Um, most days I'm kind of just like removing the old polish and then going in and, you know, um, touching that up. I typically only apply one coat and I will do my nails um, either very early in the morning or at night before I go to bed. Uh, and then if I feel like I need two coats, which is actually what I did today, like I did this last night. So I did one coat and then I slept in it because it does harden pretty quickly. But if you go in with two coats immediately, it does that thing where it's just like too thick and it takes forever to dry. So I'll do one coat at night and then in the morning I'll apply a second coat um, when it's like, so I know that it's fully set, fully dry. And then I'll basically just like sit at my computer and like answer emails or like, usually I'm doing it at like seven o'clock in the morning. I'm like waking up, watching podcasts, drinking coffee. I'm not like really using my hands, you know? So that it has plenty of time to set again. Uh, so that's my trick to <laughs> being able to do two coats. Another thing that's super important is keeping my nails 
hydrated. So I got this little set from uh, 10 over 10 again, and it comes with a serum, a moisturizer, and then an oil. Uh, I also have this cuticle oil from OPI, which is what I'm gonna be using today. So I'll moisturize my hands with the serum first, and I always work every product into my cuticles. And then I will go in with a few pumps of the um, moisturizer. Same deal, I always work into my cuticles. And then I will go in and apply the cuticle oil, especially after having, I do this most nights, honestly, but especially after having like done cuticle cleanup, I apply it to the cuticles and then I also apply it like underneath the nail. So just hydrating everything. So then I'll usually let that like set for a little while, just kind of like sit, sink in, and then I will go in and um, once again, really work, like massage that into the, each cuticle. And that's pretty much that. I don't really use color that much. Um, the only other thing I will say is that back in the day when my nails were like so ridiculously brittle, I was eating really poorly. I wasn't drinking enough water. I wasn't getting good vitamins. Now my diet is really good. Uh, the only vitamins that I take that help this are I drink a collagen supplement in the morning. Uh, I think it's called, I think it's by Vital Proteins. I can link it down below, but um, I just have like a scoop of that in my water in the morning, which has definitely helped. It's really made my hair grow, which is like annoying since I have a pixie but uh, it's been helping. And then I also take biotin. I don't even know how much I take, but I do take biotin. So I can only imagine that like all of those things coming together have really helped. Uh, oh, I also take an omega-3. I'm assuming that that helps too, because it's like for your hair, skin and nails, right? Anyway, that is how I take care of my nails. Um, it's been a long journey and I really do have to keep up with them if I don't want them to break. But uh, they're so much better than they used to be. So it's honestly, to me, it's just so worth you know, every couple of day, days, just like removing this nail polish and putting on a quick coat. It dries quickly, I don't have to worry about it. I like the look of these natural nails now. I like the clear polish. I'm not trying to do anything like too crazy. Uh, I'm actually probably never going to be doing press-ons or acrylics ever again, because this was just way too much work to grow out. All right, guys, I hope that helped you. If you have any nail, natural na nail care tips, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and let me know what you want to see next.